Hey guys, it's been a while since I've recorded another video, and I have been obsessed with Animal Crossing lately, so I decided to draw one of my villagers. Uh, this time I'm drawing Anka. She recently moved into my village, and she's awesome. Um, I've been playing Animal Crossing a lot, and also I've been working on my game project, Toasty. So that's probably why you guys haven't seen many videos from me lately. Um, so that's what's going on. Uh, when I was drawing this, I wanted to start doing a different coloring style than my usual uh, cell shaded. I have been really inspired by a lot of other artists lately, and I've been doing a lot of pixel art, and I noticed I don't draw pixel art the same way I did my traditional artwork. And before, when I would draw, I do a line art layer, a flat color layer, a shading layer. I would have tons of layers. And while it's organized and it's awesome, it would also kind of slow me down. And what I tried to do in this drawing uh, is I would just do my sketch, do the lines, and then immediately start coloring. And basically the way it works is that you, once you get your color in there, your flat color in there, you merge the lines and the color all together. And it really kind of broke me out of that uh, slow speed of like having to switch layers all the time and it kind of made it more fun and I didn't have to worry about everything being perfect uh, because it's a little more painterly but it's still kind of cell shaded I don't know it's hard to explain um, I did draw this in paint tool Sci, which I really love doing for like quick drawings uh, I normally work in clip studio paint but this was kind of something I wanted to try out, so I figured I would go back to Sai for this. Um, I really like Paint Tool Sai because it's a really simple program, but it does a lot of things really well. I think it handles like the selection tool and the brushes really well compared to other software. So you can see right here, uh, I've started doing cell shading for it, and I'm just doing a multiplier layer above it, and then what I'm going to do is merge it flat down onto the, uh, the same layer I did the lines and everything else. And while I'm doing this, it also kind of colors my line art, which before I would actually have to go back to my line art layer and then recolor everything. Um, and with this method, it kind of just does it for me, which I really like. And then here I started taking a uh, marker brush, which is essentially like a watercolor kind of brush. And it does like a soft blending of the colors, and I really like how it looks. So I was experimenting with it a little bit and trying to get a feel for it. But yeah, Animal Crossing is my life right now. Uh... <laughs> I probably play it more than I should, but that's what it is. Uh, I've been really trying to make my island look like a modern uh, city, so that's what I'm working on. When, of course, when I'm not working on Toasty and you know commissions. So anyway, that's Anka. It's about done. I just kind of did a little bit of shading here, but I, I really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I know it's been forever since I've uploaded. But I'm going to actually try to do some more uploads uh, very soon. So, yeah. I appreciate you guys watching the video if you made it this far. Uh, and also, that's another thing I'm not certain on. Uh, how long do you guys prefer time-lapse videos to be? Because I made this one about five minutes. Uh, I think it went over a little bit, but... Uh, if you guys think that's too long or it should be longer, if you want to see it slowed down more so you can see each part more in detail, you know, let me know in the comments. And if you liked it, do that thing where you like it, because I hate to ask, but that really does help the analytics, so 
there's the finished drawing and I'll see you guys later.